Snowflake just reported earnings and the stock dropped 18%. At the current price, the company now has a market cap of $68 billion. With $4.8 billion of cash and investments and no debt, the enterprise value is $63.2 billion. Revenue over the last 12 months grew 36% to $2.8 billion, with $813 million of free cash flow. However, net income was negative $836 million, mainly due to a large chunk of stock-based compensation. At first glance, Snowflake earnings look pretty good. Fourth quarter revenue was up 32% year over year. Gross margins improved to 78% and the company achieved a best-in-class retention rate of 131%. But there were two pieces of news that spooked investors. First was the resignation of highly regarded CEO Frank Slootman and second was company guidance for 2024. Full year revenue is expected to grow only 22% this year to $3.25 billion. 22% growth may sound decent, but for a company valued at 23 times revenue, it's probably not enough, and it continues the long-term trend of decelerating revenue growth. Considering the recent boom in AI, there's a concern that Snowflake may be losing out to competitors like Databricks. However, there could be another way to interpret this forecast. When a manager leaves, companies often give a conservative outlook to give the new CEO a lower bar to clear. And on the company conference call, the Snowflake CFO admitted the outlook was conservative. He also said that revenue from new products was not included in the forecast. Those new products include services related to generative AI. And so it's at least possible that Snowflake is trying to dampen down expectations for the coming year. And zooming out, this is a company that has clear potential to generate significant free cash flow for years into the future. Cash from operations grew 50% last year to 855 million, a margin of 30%, and Snowflake reported its largest ever deal in the quarter. Let's assume that Snowflake grows its top line revenue at a rate of 20% per year for the next 10 years, then operates with a net income margin of 35%. In that scenario, the company would be producing 6 billion of net income in 10 years time and a 35 times multiple takes the company to a valuation of $213 billion. Let's assume share buybacks are used to offset share-based compensation and the annualized return works out to about 12% per year. So even after dropping 20%, Snowflake stock doesn't look that cheap, but while computing power has been moving to the cloud for years, the shift of company data is still in its early stages and Snowflake looks well positioned. As a result, I think this drop represents a buying opportunity, but these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I may buy the stock in the near future. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website, 3minutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.